After months of hype, Rashid Marshall and his Mountaineer teammates couldn't wait to get the season underway. It would be a record-setting night for K.J. Harris in his offensive line as the rebuilding East Carolina squad visited Morgantown. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this MSN replay of East Carolina versus West Virginia. I'm Woody O'Hara. You know, coming into the game, the Mountaineer coaching staff wanted to see how some of the younger players would react to live game situations. There were also some key positions on both sides of the ball that needed to be filled, including running back, where Jason Colson and K.J. Harris were given the task to fill Quincy Wilson's shoes. Let's get to the action now from the opening kickoff as we join the MSN call from Tony Caridi and Dwight Wallace. End over end it goes. It will be Pac-Man Jones from three yards in. He'll take it out, running to the five. Now the 10 at the 15. Looks for a seam over the 20 to the 25. Fakes by the man at the 30. He's ahead over the 35, and he is brought down at the 39-yard line by Mark Keith McQueen. A 39-yard return, and Pac-Man almost split the last defender. He could have gone all the way. A good start for West Virginia's Pac-Man Jones. The Golden Blue offense will take it first down and 10. They'll spot the ball back a yard now first and put it down at the 38-yard line. line. West Virginia will begin this game with Jason Colson as the tailback. Heike Johnson is the fullback. The backs are offset. Flanker to the right and a split end to the left and quarterback Rashid Marshall is under center. He looks back under his center and now steps over, checks with his receiver, Chris Henry. Brandon Miles is the far side receiver. Here's the snap. Rashid to throw on the first play of the season. Going deep, wide open downfield. The pass is caught at the 25 by Miles, and he trips down inside the 15-yard line. The first play of the season for West Virginia goes for 50 yards as Brandon Miles pulls it in. E. Jean, the cornerback, was beaten badly on the play. They will spot Miles out at the 11-yard line. It is first and 10 for the Mountaineers, just like that. Tony, they had a lot of people up near the line of scrimmage. They only had two men deep, and the one to Miles' side was almost on the hash. So uh, he just didn't come off that hash. Ready to go to work. Double tight end. Single setback. Marshall under center. Here's the snap. Handoff goes to Colson. Colson takes it down inside the 10-yard line, and they'll give him forward progress to the 8. Richard Koontz, the outside linebacker, makes the tackle. That time, West Virginia went with a single setback in Colson. Two tight ends. Power running formation, and they pick up three yards on the play. Now, K.J. Harris comes on the field for the Golden Blue as West Virginia takes out both of its tight ends. It is second down and seven from the eight-yard line of East Carolina. Two setbacks. K.J. Harris and Jason Colson are back there. Shotgun formation for the Mountaineers. On second down, snap goes to K.J. Here's the handoff. K.J. turning the corner to the right. He is hit from behind, and he'll get about a yard on that play. A pair of Pirates in on the tackle. Jamar Flanoy and their top tackler from a year ago, Chris Moore, there to make the stop. That will bring up third down and six. The nose of that football just inside the seven-yard line. Very good speed on the part of the defense, Tony. That was a uh, handoff sweep and a really good job by East Carolina running to the football. These guys have speed. They're not giants, but they can run. Chris Henry, John Pennington, receivers to the left. Brandon Miles, receiver to the far right side. Shotgun formation. Colson to the left of Rashid Marshall on third down. Rashid eyes the defense. Takes the ball into his mitts. He looks. He's going to run out of the pocket. He's down to the five. He's putting his nose down. They'll stop him short of the goal line, but he should have the first down inside the two, down to the one-yard line. It'll be very close to a first down. It is fourth down and inches for West Virginia. The ball at the East Carolina one-yard line. Single receivers to each side. Miles to the left. Henry to the right. Single setback is Jason Colson. Two tight ends out there. The senior quarterback, Rashid Marshall, gets underneath his center. Barks out the signals. Rashid takes a snap. Quarterback keep plunges ahead, pushing and churning and pushing and churning. No signal from the official. He did not get into the end zone, but they got a good surge. He should have the first down. First down and goal from inside the one. Eye formation for the Mountaineers. Two tight ends. Rashid Marshall under his center. Tim Brown takes the snap. Hands off. Colson off the left side. He's in. It's a touchdown for the Golden Blue on their opening possession of the season. West Virginia with a long pass play to start things off from, from Rashid Marshall to Brandon Miles. And Jason Colson explodes in officially from one yard away. West Virginia leads it six to nothing with two minutes gone by. East Carolina sends two receivers out to the left on second down and seven. Offset eye formation. 
Pinckney takes the snap. Toss play. Give and go. That's a flea flicker. Pinckney steps up, throwing a deep ball downfield, and the pass is caught inside the 15. Robert Tillman running out to the outside inside the 10-yard line, and Tillman is finally brought down at the 5-yard line of West Virginia. Anthony Mims, Mountaineer cornerback, fell down, and that allowed Tillman to come up with a reception, a 58-yard completion down to the five-yard line of West Virginia. And that's the second defensive back that's fallen down on a deep route, Tony. And so East Carolina fell behind 7-0 after West Virginia scored quickly. Now they have taken the ball from their 27 down to the Mountaineer 5. First and goal. From the five, twin receivers right. Offset eye formation, strong right. Tight end over there to left. Pinckney on first and goal from the five. Hands off to Towns. Towns takes it inside the five-yard line to the three-yard line. A gain of two on the play. Clock winding toward the 10-minute mark. It'll be second down and goal coming up from the three. Towns took it up in there pretty good, Tony. They came off the ball well, I thought, against our defense that time. Just had a little crack, but uh, good pursuit on the part of the Mountaineers to uh, hold him to two yards. Seventh play of the drive coming up as East Carolina tries to get on the board and tie this game at seven apiece. We've got to win the line of scrimmage down here. Inside the five-yard line, we've got to win the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from the three. Snap, handoff. Towns looking for a crease. He has stood up at the two-yard line and bulldog down. He'll get two on forward progress. He'll take that ball down to the one. They'll be looking at third and goal from the one. Boo McClee, who packs a big-time punch at 245 pounds, wrapped up Marvin Towns and pushed him back. But Towns, to have the forward progress, will put the ball down between the one and two-yard line. Third good, down. Good charge, Tony, by the Mountaineers. Thought did a great job winning the line of scrimmage, but uh, that dog on Towns found one crease to the backside and hit it, almost got loose. Triple tight ends in this formation for East Carolina. Third down and goal from the one and a half yard line from an eye set. Snap, Pinkney up the middle. Towns, he's hit and he's dropped. Ben Lynch stops Towns for a one yard loss. That'll bring up fourth down and goal. A tremendous play by the senior defensive tackle from Oil City, Pennsylvania. Ben Lynch squeezed inside and he brings him down and that will force East Carolina to bring on its field goal kicker Cameron Broadwell. Want to be careful here now Tony this would be a fake possibility too if you're an underdog coming in here. Number 15 Cameron This will be a 20 yard attempt for Cameron Broadwell senior from Nightdale North Carolina. Ryan Doherty their regular punter is the holder. Broadwell is ready. 20-yard field goal attempt into the air. Flag flies. Kick is up, and it is good. Today's game is brought to you by Shoney's, the home of the legendary breakfast buffet. It's a whole lot of food for your money. Your food, your choice, your Shoney's. By West Virginia's Bank, United Bank. We're united with the Mountaineers. By Cold Fresh Budweiser, it's game time. By State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by the West Virginia Lottery, good things happen when you play. All right, West Virginia football. First down and 10 for the Golden Blue from the East Carolina 43-yard line. Mountaineers lead 7-3. Two receivers out wide right, single receiver to the left. Here's the snap and the handoff, and K.J. Harris slices through the defense. K.J. gets the run going over the 30. He's at the 25, running to the outside of the 20, the 15 to the 10, to the 5, heading toward the end zone, and he will be knocked out just shy of the goal line. Pushed out of bounds at the 3-yard line. K.J. Harris goes for 40 yards. It's first and goal for West Virginia. Donald Whitehead, the cornerback, finally pushed him out of bounds, but again, K.J. showing nifty and nimble feet as he made a nice cut after he got through the initial line of scrimmage. Good action that time, Tony. We did show a reverse fake off of that, and I think that helped, uh, helped hold the secondary and the backers, and he was able to split the scene. First and goal from the three. Two tight ends out there. Single receiver right. Straight eye formation. Rashid Marshall. Toss play left side. Here comes K.J. again, looking for the goal line. He'll be stopped short. He'll pick up a yard on the play. He was hit and hit hard by the... Pirate defender Jamar Flournoy and Flournoy gets up smarting from the Jamar contact there. Flournoy. It'll be second down and goal. The ball at the two yard line along the second near side the hash two. mark. 4 40 and counting opening quarter. West Virginia leads 7 to 3. 
We're down there sniffing that goal line now. We gotta gotta really reach down and punt, gotta win the line of scrimmage first, Tony, down here. Same formation, single receiver, Henry out wide right, two tight ends, and an eye formation on second down and goal. Again, KJ with a handoff. He's into the end zone. Untouched. It's a touchdown for West Virginia. KJ Harris scores it from two yards away. It is 13 to 3, West Virginia. Boy, he's running strong. He's running hard. He's running well. KJ Harris. First down and 10 for East Carolina, operating from their 26 yard line. They are moving from our left to right here in this opening quarter. This is East Carolina's best starting point of the evening. They'll line up on this first down play with a single setback and a bunch of receivers to the right side. Now here's the toss play to Marvin Towns. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage and he is thrown down. Five yard loss on the play. Mr. Mike Lorello, the junior from Powell, Ohio. Did a great job surging awesome. through and making the stop Second on Marvin Town. That's that bunch formation you called there, Tony, and they just put a whole lot of, uh, they put a couple tight ends, a wing over to one side and then run the sweep into that. And uh, sometimes you can find a seam because it's hard to get enough defenders in there. We did a good job. Our contained man forced it upfield, made to play. Five yard loss, second down and 15. Out of the shotgun, here is the quarterback Pinckney looking to his left, throwing the ball is deflected and incomplete. Hit at the line of scrimmage by Boo McClee, who was applying the pressure. And the ball falls He's aimlessly into the turf. By number 43. That will stop the clock with 335 remaining in this first quarter. That's why Kurlavich is always on about getting 15. their hands up. When you're rushing that passer, he got he got past the uh, offensive lineman, got the hands up, got it bad. Good job. 14 to 3 is the score. West Virginia on top, looking to get the football back. Four receivers out there for ECU. Three to the left and one out to the right. Shotgun formation, and the quarterback Pinckney has Marvin Towns to his left. Snap comes back. Pinckney drops. He looks, has plenty of time. Now he'll start to roll. Floats the ball left side. Incomplete in and out of the hands of Marvin Towns. Towns dropped it, and it is punt time once again for East Carolina. Great job that time by West Virginia's defense. Three plays and out. Goes ECU and the Mountaineers will get the ball back and they should get it back in good position. Good job that time. We were just straight man, Tony, trying to match them up. Our guys did a great job. That's almost a coverage sack there because everybody ran well with the receivers. Hackman Jones awaits the punt at the West Virginia 35. Ryan Doherty stands back at his seven. Snap comes back. The kick is away, end over end, knuckleballer. Pac-Man gonna let it take a bounce, takes a big East Carolina hop, now he's gonna return. Here comes Pac-Man, he's at the 35, running to the left side, trying to turn the corner, and he does over the 40, he is hit from behind, and dragged down at the 42-yard line of West return. Virginia. This MSN replay of the West Virginia East Carolina game is presented by Shoney. After both teams were unable to move the ball, East Carolina punted back to West Virginia and down the ball at the one yard line. That's where we pick up the action now with the Mountaineers leading 14 to three. Just need to get back to no mistake football, Tony. Actually, we've had our way with them as long as we don't shoot ourselves in the foot. Yep. So a good test here, 99 yards, let's go. One first down at a time. Straight eye formation, handoff KJ. KJ bursts through the middle, KJ over the 15. KJ takes tacklers over the 20 and he's ahead to the over the 15 to the 18 yard line I should say a 17 yard run and immediately the Mountaineers get themselves out of that hole KJ Harris with a super opening half here 84 yards for KJ on eight carries 17 big ones there straight eye formation for West Virginia once again receivers to each side Rashid Marshall toss play running to the right side is KJ Harris and KJ will take the ball to the 20 yard line a gain of two the ball on here. that play KJ that time cut up a little early Tony I think if he stretches that play more he might even get that one outside he made the block the hard on the lead back there you got a lead back that's trying to make a block and he just Second didn't set eight. it up real well that's part of inexperience I think second down and eight Coming up on the 10 minute mark in the second quarter, West Virginia leads 14 to three from the shotgun. A receiver out to the right and a receiver out to the left. 